Hey everyone, uh, Curtis Warden here. I'm going to be doing the class on the high-end renovation and new construction. And in 2010, uh, Brant Phillips and I, we renovated this house right here on 604 Archer. That was the first house that started this uh, little revolution over here in Brooksmith. And I'm going to show you a couple more, so hang tight. The next house I bought was over here on a street called Pittman. It's a little street right by uh, the White Oak Bayou. And it's this little priceless jewel right here. 900 square feet of pure awesomeness. That's it. That's what it looks like. I bought that one for like $70,000. That was a lead that I got from AC Ramos. And I ended up selling that one for like $181. In 2011 and 12, I went on a nice little buying spree and I bought this little gym right here from Will Denker, 708 Walton. Uh, it was less than a thousand square feet. I We added just a little bit to it and uh, sold that one. So I bought that one from Will for 115 and I ended up selling that one for 300,000 after we put in $85,000 worth of money into it. And then if we just drive just a little bit further down the street here, this is all in the same subdivision within like four blocks of each other. So it's kind of cool. Then I bought this house right here from Net Worth. Uh, this is uh, 512 Walton, but it was really uh, a gardener, like 907 gardener. And I bought that one. I got that one for 155 from Net Worth uh, put in a little bit under 160 and sold that one for 475 uh, then I got this one right here this one was uh, 508 Walton and we redid this one this one used to be a triplex and we just opened up all of the walls tore down the back apartment made a little one car garage and we sold that one I mean man that one was a steal I sold that one before I sold the 512 and we sold that one for like 385 it was just it was insane how fast this market was turning over so I'm gonna show you a couple more all right then I bought this little gym over here uh, from the homeowners on 705 Enid you really can't see it but it was another high-end remodel with a carport added on a couple hundred square feet to it and it sold very quickly it was sold before it was even framed up so uh, that was another one now we'll go down the street again okay this next house is my pride and joy of Brooksmith this is a uh, 901 Cordell this one was an old building that was on Travis Elementary's uh, school site it was auctioned off for $14,000. The guy moved it over here. It sat for four years. I took it over and I turned it into this. It was just absolutely beautiful. That's 2,100 square feet and it's it's amazeballs. Then I bought this one right here. I just recently did this. That's 913 Cordell. Uh, thanks to David Williams with Red Door Funding, I built this one for the homeowners uh, from beginning to end, Travis and Stephanie Knotts. It's a two-story, 2,300 square feet with a two-car garage sitting on the corner, and it's absolutely stunning. All right. Next, I tore apart this little gym right here, 1211 Archer. We got this one, this one was going into foreclosure and uh, we took this one while it was going out on the uh, the day before the auction and we completely redid this house and we turned this from 700 square feet into 1800 square feet and added a nice little carport there at the end. So a lot of work goes into these. Uh, this one we got for, I think it was, it was $84,000. We had to pay $14,000 in back, in back um, fees to the, to the bank to get it caught up, get it out of the auction. 
and then we turned around and we sold this one for 475 to the homeowners so this one literally like we made $175,000 on this one this is probably the best flip that I'd ever done until the next one that I'm getting ready to show you this is my latest new build uh, this is 1202 Archer sits on the ravine it's 2800 square feet we bought this lot two years ago and uh, we bought this lot for somewhere close to $75,000 and uh, we've already sold the project it's a custom built house that I'm doing right now for the homeowners they live down the street I'm doing this one for them and um, they just drove by today and checked on it everything's going good uh, we're getting ready to start siding this one up and that one's already sold uh, for six fifty. Okay, so I'm coming up to the last house in the subdivision that I did. It uh, sits across here from the park. It's one of the best looking houses in the neighborhood. Um, it's right here. It's 1008 Northwood. And this one, we're closing on this one on Thursday. So it was one of the highest priced houses that we bought last year, 230. And we put in 170 into it and uh, it's under contract and being sold for 525. So uh, I'm just missing one other house. It's a little bitty house on Vincent Street. And um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that when you focus on a transition area and you come in and you do good work, if you're close into downtown, the principles of investing are the closer that you're into downtown um, and the the nicer the quality of the product are if you're patient enough with that and you can ride out the transformation you can really make some good money but the goal is or, or your goal should be to turn out a good product not to make money and as long as you're passionate about what you're doing the money's gonna follow so I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of Brooksmith, the tour of the houses that I've done. And uh, I look forward to seeing guys at the seminar and helping you on your goal to achieve some financial freedom and to build some kick-ass houses. All right, thank you.